First of all, I wanted to say it's an honor to meet you. It's not every day a 10 year old sees an empty of a costume. It's my pleasure, it's an honor to meet you. customers of the bank. No? If not, we have to open accounts for you now. My name is Shago Badi, I work here. When did you know that you wanted to be part of GTB Bank, not just any bank? You know, I started in GTB on day one. My staff number is guess what? Who wants to guess? One guess. 28 wrong. Oh, what? 15? So I'm 007. I'm the James Bond here. <laughs> so that's my staff number. So I've been here from the very first day. And truly, I can show you my staff ID. It's actually my staff number is 007, which means I was the seventh person employed in this bank. At what stage in your life did you know you wanted to be a banker? Truthfully, okay, I come from a generation of bankers. My father was a banker, so I think, and if your father is your hero and your mentor, you tend to want to do the same thing. I'm sure from the time I was maybe about eight, nine, I always kind of felt that I'd like to do what my father had done for a profession. So very early, maybe about eight, nine. What's your GT bank about over the year? How much do you, like, how much do you this? I think that in 25 years, we've gone from the smallest bank in the country to the best bank in the country. Forget what anybody tells you in terms of our ethics, our integrity, our profit, our way of life. I think we've built in 25 years an institution that you can be proud of as Nigerians. I don't think GT Bank is only good on a Nigerian level. I think GT Bank is actually good on a global level. I think the way we lead our lives is very similar to how you would even lead your life in a global institution. This is our head office, do you like it? Yes. This is where we work, so we don't build our head office and say, oh, we want it to look good in Nigeria. We build our head office and we say, we want it to look good anywhere in the world. How has the Nigerian economy affected GTV? So truthfully, we're continuing life as normal. Um, we might try not to spend as much money, uh, since we might not make as much money, which is what you have to do in your lives. You must never spend more money than you're making. That's the easiest way to destroy yourself. So what we will do is prepare that we might make a little less money, and so we won't spend as much, but we're living our lives the way we always do. Because we're very optimistic and we're very upbeat that for those who are very good in math, this is just like a downturn, there'll be an upturn, and that if you draw a line through it, it'll be a nice vertical line. Look, don't let anybody make you despondent about Nigeria. Nigeria is one of the most incredible places on earth to live and work. I've lived in different parts of the world. It is a complete me. Everywhere there's hardship, everywhere there are good times, there are bad times. I can see all of you travel. I mean, everything is not like, I always tell people who've never traveled, it's not like you get to England, you get to America, and there's gold on the street. No, you still have to work hard, people get laid off, people lose their jobs, just like we do here. And, but the big advantage is this is the country you come from. This is the place where you're most likely to get help. This is the place where it's the best to succeed. I mean, I lived and worked in America. I've never traded the fact that I became successful in my own country. I mean, it's a lot more rewarding. And if you ask me to go back and live in America, I would never agree to. Most of our parents tell us we have to come first, second, or third. I'm gonna give you a different piece of advice. I hope they won't kill me. <laughs> I don't believe life is first, second, or third. I believe life is A's, B's, C's, D's, E's, F's, yes? That's how grades are. And that in life, what you must always make sure is that you're an A. There's no point being an A star and you, can't have, you don't have social skills. There's no point being an A star and you can't have a friendly conversation. 
There's no, you know, if you're an A star, you can't socially communicate, it's not good enough. But if you're an A and you have all the other skills, you're athletic, you can play the piano, you like music, you like computers, you can do more than schoolwork and you're an A, trust me, you're going to do very well in life. So that's kind of my attitude to life, not first, second or third. But you've always got to be an A, people. There's no room for Bs, really. You've got to be an A to succeed in life. Because life is very competitive. But, um, I would like to know how much your salary is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Enough. <laughs> how much my salary is? Enough. I'll keep you in clothes, I'll buy you a car, I'll pay for your holidays, I'll pay for your children's education. And most importantly, it will also allow you to save. You know, I, I knew I had to get to this. I'm going to tell you a little trick about saving. I don't want to sound like your parents, so I'm going to try to be very different. The way I look at saving and money is that let us put a bucket here and you put water in it. That is money. When you spend, put a cup in that bucket and continue to take the water out. If you never put any more water into it, what happens? It becomes empty, yes? That's what happens when you make money and you never save. Ultimately, you will have nothing to show for it. And that's why you must always save. You must always keep water in that bucket so that you'll be able to meet, help people, just save, sleep better at night, give you some security. Oh, my salary is enough. How are you able to balance being the head of an office but at the same time take care of your family, have your hobbies done and everything else? God, you're too clever. See, I never expected such a complicated question. The truth is, it's very difficult. Just like she said, I'm Olalu's daddy, so sometimes I have to be Olalu's daddy. I have to be a husband, I have to be a boss, I have to run the bank. It's, it's difficult, but the truth is, if you put your mind to it, anything you love, you make time for. No. If you like to play on the computer, you make time for it. If you like to play the piano, you make time for it. You also make time for your homework. So it's the way you prioritize and make time for all the things that are important to you. That's the same thing I do. Sometimes I'll just drop work, and have family time. And sometimes I have to sacrifice family time for work. But they're all important. And what I've found is if things are important to you, and I really want you to think about it in the way you do it. When it's time to eat, you eat. When it's time to do homework, you do homework. When it's time to play, you play. So that's the same way I do it. I just pick all the things that are important to me and I make sure I find time to do them. Um, would you categorize GT Vibe and being the enemy of it as a retirement job? Absolutely. I could never work in any other bank. Once you've worked in the greatest bank on earth in a country, it means that any other bank job I would take would be a step down in life. That wouldn't be good, would it? Yeah, yeah so once you've run the best bank, you don't want to run the second best. So yes, it is a retirement job. After you leave as MP of GT Bank, unless of course, unless of course, I'm very truthful with you, you must always have big goals. They are global banks in the world. GT Bank is still an African bank, it's not a global bank. So the only thing that would not make this a retirement job is if after this you offered me a global bank as it. <laughs> so you're going to give me a global job after this. Okay. Or do you want to know like what a global bank is? Well, um, like a bank that is like practically everywhere. Everywhere in the world. They cover everywhere in the world. Exactly. What would you want your legacy to be? My legacy? I think I would like for people to say I passed through Guarantee Trust. I touched the lives of people. I left it better than I met it. I left the country better than I met it. And that everybody who I interacted with, I left it better than I met it. That's all.